So as you can see here, I made an upgrade this mowing season to a Husqvarna 435X. Uh, you know, I used to have a 315X, I made some videos on that a couple of years ago. And I found that uh, although the 315X is a very nice auto mower, it's, uh, my yard is too sloped for that particular model. Like this section here, for example, that you see the mower running on right now, the 315 can't do this. The grading is just a bit too high. And when I originally got that 315, I had set up the boundary wire to come down here and over this way, uh, and it couldn't quite do it. It would be it would be digging up sections of grass all along the slope sections, and it was just ruining the grass because it was getting stuck and it was spinning its wheels. Uh, so I had to pull the boundary wire back and back and back until it would no longer get stuck. And then this whole band of grass here, I had to cover it, you know, manually with my push mower or with my trimmer, my weed whacker. So I did that for a while and then uh, last year I got the terrain kit for the 315X which is uh, basically uh, better tires to help it grip better but that didn't make really any tangible difference for me on this particular yard. That's not to say you shouldn't get it for your yard, just for my yard it didn't help. So. Uh, this year I decided to take the plunge and get a 435X. They are expensive, I know, um, but to me I think it's worth it given uh, how much less yard work I will have to do because the 315 that I had could cover, let's say, you know, 80% of this yard. You know, it could cover all the stuff in the back there and most of this. And so getting this only increases my total covered area by a certain amount, not, not a whole lot. Uh, like that slope section there, and this section here around the tree that's also very sloped. Eventually I'm going to have it come in here as well, but that's for another day. Um, so it's not that much of an increase in how much coverage I'm getting, but it's so much more convenient. Because then I don't have to come in anymore and you know trim this whole thing out every couple of weeks. Um, so, that being said, and you know, I've, I've already done videos on like laying the boundary wire and all of that, so what exactly is it about the 435X that I want to mention uh, that maybe others haven't mentioned? Um, okay, so first is where did I get it from? I bought this from Safford Equipment, they're based in Alabama, and uh, I bought it from there because they have the best price, free shipping and no tax. Uh, everywhere else offers either, you know, you either have to pay one or both of those things uh, and or the retail price is higher. Uh, so, you know, I'm not necessarily endorsing any particular uh, retail agency, but they seem to do, they have the best pricing at present for this model. So, and they have very good customer service. So, I got that and it shipped here in a couple of days, didn't take that long. Uh, setup for me was very easy upgrading from the 315 to the 435 because although the charge base is different it's a larger uh, deeper charge base basically I just un you know I unhooked my 315 charge base I kept all the same boundary wire I hooked up you know the charge base for this plugged everything in and it was just off to the races uh, no you know very seamless uh, transition there uh, initially I was a little bit off put by the interface for the 435 because on the 315X um, it's all number pad stuff, right? So you open up a flap and you have a keypad where you put in the pin number and you also uh, have like an actual park button and a start button and all those things. On this, it's just that one little dial there and a screen. And it takes a little bit of time to sort of load up the screen, put in your pin number, and then go through the menus. And the menus are not text-based, it's all uh, graphics-based. So if you want to tell it to park, or go by a certain schedule or whatever, if you're doing it just based off of this thing, you have to go by what the pictures look like. And that can be a little bit confusing. So until you get familiar with it, or study the user manual to understand what each graphic means, uh, it can be a little annoying. But on the other hand, it you know this does come with a 4G card. My 315X came with a 2G card. You can get a 4G upgrade for it if you want to pay the money. I don't think it's worth it. Um, so this interfaces directly with my phone. So you can go, you can use the Husqvarna Automower Connect app, 
and that has much more like word based uh, uh, you know descriptions for what you want to do with the mower and I believe every setting option you can do through that connect app so it's actually very convenient if you use your phone to run the auto mower um, so okay that's one piece as far as how it's performed so far I haven't had any issues um, you know as you can see kind of hilly rough terrain right I think you know those who have watched my 315x videos have seen how my yard looks um, you know this hasn't gotten stuck at all not on these deeper sections not on anything at all over the past I don't know a couple of weeks that I've been running this um, the only section where it did kind of get stuck and this is something that even the 315x had issues with is these little wood posts right here because these are markers for the uh, septic tank so if you have something like this sticking out of the ground like here I just screwed another piece of wood on top so the bump sensor would hit it and then cause it to back off either do that or just dig it deeper in uh, it was on this one where it got a little stuck so I'm gonna have to do something about that later but otherwise no problems at all totally fine um, is there anything else I want to mention about it? Uh, I'm not going to get the terrain kit for it. I don't think I need it because it has all-wheel drive. And, you know, even when the wheels have gotten kind of gummed up, like in wet terrain, uh, again, so far it hasn't had an issue. This is actually interesting. I want to see how it does here because this is all loose and sloped, and it doesn't seem to have any problem at all. I just got this retaining wall redone. And so uh, some of the dirt that was left over from that, they, they put it over here and I think they planted grass. So this is all very loose dirt and it's on a sloped uh, grading. It's kind of hard to see from where I'm standing, but if I go, let's say like this, now you can see how it's a bit sloped. Um, and again, that has no problem with it. The wheels aren't perfectly clean either. So all wheel drive does make a huge difference. Uh, for these auto mowers. Um, the other all-wheel drive auto mower I was considering was the Ambrogio Quad Elite. Uh, that one I think is made in Italy. Uh, it's a bit more expensive than this, um, but it has very similar capabilities in terms of the maximum slope that it can handle. I think this can do up to a 35 degree slope. The Ambrogio can do up to like a 37 degree slope. Um, the main difference that I see is really in the blade design. This still uses the same uh, razor blades that you have in the 315X and all the other Husqvarna auto mowers. Works fine for grass, but in the fall, if you want to mulch leaves, uh, you can't really do it with these mowers. Uh, the Ambrosio, however, the, the blade design is really more like an actual mower blade. And it has enough rotating mass that I think uh, in the fall you might be able to mulch leaves with it. I'm not 100% sure, but it kind of looks like it could do that. So, <laughs> uh, if I wanted to spend even more money, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I might have gotten that. But I wanted to go with this because it's more compatible with how I have uh, my charge base set up and everything. And I already have equipment for mulching leaves anyway. So anyway, I just wanted to make a little bit of an update here just to show you uh, this mower functioning in the sections of the yard where it's actually a bit steep where the 315x couldn't quite handle it and this has no problem whatsoever it actually it works great so I'm very happy with it it is expensive but uh, in the long run I think it is definitely worth it if you have a, a, a rougher more sloped yard like this okay so that's it for now thanks for watching